In March of 2021, Disney released their adorable Raya doll from their movie Raya and the Last Dragon. And in October of 2021, we had her eating live birds. What? just want to make a note. This is how my workspace always looks. I never have this neat, perfect little space, which I could clean off and make it all neat and perfect for you guys, but it just takes up the time that I need to actually work on my projects. So whether you see it as it is, this is what it looks like. This is the reality of it. This is not just putting it on with some pretty paper on the bottom so it all looks good and cushy to you guys. Because you know that's not the real way this happens. You do these projects at home, you know, this is, this is how it is right here. I just wanted to kind of share this with you guys. Yesterday I had this really bad day and I like made two of these and they were a disaster. It was just one of those days when I just should have stayed in bed. Do you ever have those days? Anyway, today I got up this morning and redone the whole dress, just made a complete new one and I am ecstatic about it. I just think it's turned out so, so cute. Feel so much better about it. I still got to add some kind of fastener on the back, but I just absolutely 100% love how it looks. It's kind of got that Adam's Family Wednesday look about it. I like it. It's so cute. So now I just got to make sure that it fits the doll. I've got to clean all the makeup off, all, all the paint off, all the acetone. Anyway, let's get in really quick. I just thought I would share this with you guys because I was just so excited about getting the dress done. We tagged the doll. I tagged the doll so I know which doll is what when we're working on them because otherwise there's so many of them we will get confused on what we're doing. And I'm so afraid it's not gonna fit over her little fat tushy. Oh, we got caught. It got caught in her joint. I was so afraid it wasn't gonna fit, but it was caught in her knee joint. Yay! It fit over her tushy. You know the rest of it fits. Oh my God. I am so in love with this. It's just something that was in my head, which I know is a very scary place. Love it. I wanted it to look almost like it was too big for her, like it was a hand-me-down. Okay, yeah, I'll admit it. I'm a little proud of the dress. It is so cute. It so works with her. I want her hair to look like this. It's gonna be part of her look. Look at this. Isn't this cute? Come on. Come on, you know it's gotta be cute. Now I'm thinking about putting some skull heads that will work down here that are white that I could attach. Or originally my idea was just to put old vintage buttons. I just thought it looked so cool. But now maybe the skulls will look good. I don't know, we'll see. But I also wanted to put these bows in her hair. Now, do you guys think that's too much? Maybe just one will do. So what I was doing was with the hair that was hanging down, I was going to put these bows in, kind of let them hang down a little bit. Okay, yeah, I'm probably going to have to keep those. Oh, she's cute. These may need to be a little bit smaller, though. But just like having the big braid in the back that's all messed up. I think it looks really, really cool. And then I've got some little boots that I actually am going to steal off of a ceramic doll. So, I've got her all ready to strip all her paint off with some acetone. The boots fit perfectly. I was amazed, but I want the front to be wide to help them stand out a little bit. That's my next thing, is to strip her paint and to paint the boots. Okay, first I'm painting and I'm using acetone. So I always wear gloves and I do it out in the garage with the garage door open because acetone is not healthy to breathe in. You wanna breathe it indoors in your house. That's totally up to you, but I don't do that here. My little white trash bag all laid out here to help protect the surface, even though it is just a work table. Um, I think I'm going to start by painting these first and then put my paint in. Again, I'm using Waverly chalk paint. So let's see if this is even going to work because I don't know if it's going to. I wanted it to look kind of aged. Him visits me ever so often. I don't know why. It's not like I have a hummingbird feeder out here. I have one on the back porch. Comes in here ever so often looking around. Still think about shortening the boots some. I really think they're a little higher ankle than the leg than I wanted. I just wanted 
originally like ankle boots. Okay, got that painted. I don't know why, but she looks like she's gonna be hard to clean. And because she has a ridge, I'm gonna have to take the Dremel and knock that down some because she's supposed to have the look or she needs to be looking upward. I want her to have that look that she's looking at. I heard that they were on to us about using acetone to clean the paint off these dolls and was making it more difficult to do that. Now I'm not sure what would be their purpose of making it harder for us to take the paint off because it looks like it's an encouragement to sell the doll if we want to, you know, have more prone to be buying the doll if we're wanting to do face-ups and stuff. Alright guys, look at this face. It's beautiful. Pat did such a great job of painting her face. She is gorgeous. Okay, here's the comparison. I have one that's still in the box. Look how different they are. It's unbelievable. Great job. He just did an excellent, excellent job. I love it. 
So I thought it would be cool to add to Ada Bird's trunk some things on the inside. We'll open it up. There's a couple of little dresses and then doll pieces where she takes all of her toys apart. And it is done. Our candles on the side. We have a leather. Bird cage done. I love the feathers added. I think they're cool displays. We're pretty happy with them. big on her like this. So I kind of made the waist shorter like this, which I thought about doing, but then I thought, I kind of like this whole idea because it looks like a hand-me-down. I just think the idea of a hand-me-down dress was a cute idea. Anyway, Ada is going to Grandma's house. But Ada's not the best of little girls. She's part of our Sugar Spice Never Nice Girls series or line of dolls, or whatever you want to call them. Isn't that the cutest little thing? It's a super cute! I want her hair kind of messed up because again, she's not a good girl. <laughs> These are her boots that I trimmed up and I painted and they're so cute. I just absolutely love them. So now we're going to put her little boots on. She's waiting at the train station and I'm sitting on her little trunk that she's taken to Grandma. This little bird is actually not her pet, but it's a gift for Grandma that her mom sent with her. So she's supposed to be waiting patiently to go to Grandma's house, right? Like a little lady holding this little bird cage. Get all that figured out here in a bit. She's gonna have the little bird. So this is a bird. So She's either going to do that or we're going to put the feathers in her mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then she has that looking up like, who, me? What did I do? We'll get her all together here soon. She's so cute though. I love her. I love her face. I love her little outfit. She's just, just super, 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 super cute. I love the boots. I love the dress. I'm so happy with the dress. I love her face. I love everything. It's just cute. It's a lot and a lot and a lot and a lot and a lot of work. She was, but she is absolutely perfect. Pat is putting the final touches on Ada Bird. She's so cute. <laughs> oh, we love her so much. Oh, I like that. You did good. That's perfect. <laughs> She's perfect. You are pretty good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. That light's so bright, I don't know oh. if bleaching everything oh, out of me. She's super cool. I love her eyes. 